Welcome back to the Lee Mix Show. I'm with Erin Tan here from the University of Queensland. Erin, welcome to the show. Thanks. What brings you to Malaysia? Um, I guess the Open Web Conference brings me here. Okay, so you're a speaker at the conference? I'm a speaker at the conference, yeah. What did you speak on? On the mobile platform. And so I spoke mostly on the iPhone, Android, and the iPad a little bit. I, I know you were involved with Apple in terms of uh, uh, launching some of the, like the iPad and uh, Apple um, other. I was involved in a few talks where I told them a bit about how the iPad can be used in education. And also with the iPhone, I've done some talks on how they could leverage it for um, the I guess mass, mass right. media. <laughs> can, can the iPad be used for business? I would say yes, definitely. I see people just carrying around to meetings, you know, taking on notes. But I, I say right now, the, the major use I've seen is people playing games. But, but there's potentially a, a business use down the road. It's a big potential. I mean, it's just as infancy right now. Yeah. And I see maybe in the second third generation, once you have GPS, video camera, USB ports, you just get better and better. You've been dabbling in technology for a long time, and you, teach, long time. you teach technology at the university. That's right. Uh, tell us a bit about your background and how you ended up in this whole space of technology. Um, well, I was always interested in space exploration. Okay. So space exploration? Yeah, okay. I'm a big space so, buff. So we'll probably see you in space one day? I hope. If Maybe I might have to pay my way up there, but well, one could hope. Richard Branson has space tourists. So. That's right, Virgin Galactic. <laughs> and I found out not too long ago that one of my friends is actually the CEO of Virgin Galactic. Oh, fantastic. So okay. I'm trying to get him to get me a free ticket. <laughs> yeah. So tell us a bit of your background. Um, so my background is actually engineering, yeah. so obviously a technological background. Right. But so you love space, and then how did, how, did, how did you get into this whole mobile space? And, uh, um, it's, it's, it's like a very um, long road, but it, it's pretty much shut off from um, I love technology, I love space. And for me, for me, the way I see you get there, it's either to be really good at something and, or to be really good at life science. Okay. And I wasn't too interested in life science. So I t took the technology route and started working with bikes. So from then on, um, I got a nice gig at um, MIT. Um, where you work on human space flight, okay. more of what and what you want to do, yeah. and I look at human factors. Okay. So from perspective of how human interact with machines as well, right. and um, so from the application, I look at the next generation of user interfaces, okay. and that kind of somehow connected to multi-touch, but it's it's all right. We all seen it on Minority Report. That was about 10, 15 years ago, yeah. something like that. And you're seeing on Star Trek, you know, all the time. But now we have only funny thing devices that have caught up with it. And come on, you, s you saw Back to the Future ages ago. Where, where, where's our hoverboards or flying cars? We don't have that yet. Yeah. But yeah, so I was really interested of trying to find what is next. Okay. And when I found multi-touch many years ago, I thought that's probably the next thing. Okay. So both multi-touch and gesture. And when you finally caught up to that, it's like, um, the iPhone and everything else. So I, I think that's kind of my gateway into it. Okay. So I was more interested in the interaction beforehand. And then when I was doing a lot of developing software, um, it kind of pointed to the mobile platform. It seems like that's where everything's headed. So that's, that's the space that you're exploring at this point, the mobile technology? At the moment, platform. yeah. You know, a lot of business people don't understand technology. Uh, they don't understand its use in business, nor do they understand how to you know, exploit it for their right. advantage. Uh, what, what, what advice would you give these people in terms of understanding of technology? Well, like everything else, it's still a tool. I mean, paper, pen is a tool. It's, it, it's kind of like a delivery platform, right? Yep. So the same thing. Your mobile phone, your iPad, it's still a delivery platform. To leverage it correctly, you need to understand what it can do. Okay. So once you understand what it can do, you can probably figure out what's best for you. So for every person, it's different, right? Maybe for me, what's best for me is an iPhone. But for you, what's best for you might be something else. Yep. So you got to understand about what your normal routine is, what's the best apps for you, mm -hmm. and then it's, it's perfect. So, so you're saying don't let, don't, be mas don't let the technology be mastered over you. That's uh, right. Just you, use it as a tool. Use it as a tool. Um, use it the way you want to use it, yep. not how you think it should be used. Mm -hmm. You know, as, you, as you've been involved in technology for a whole long time, um, are there specific uh, technologies that can be instantly leveraged in business right now that you can take off? Oh, heaps. I mean, I'm sure pe business people travel loads, right? Yeah. And there's just a bunch of iPhone apps right now that right. you could use to help you when you travel. Okay. What about in terms of productivity, in terms of driving business results, in terms of... Driving business results, um, you see lots of web services to f um, look at statistics, um, web usage, 
uh, you can you can well you can easily set up a survey right now in like two minutes. Use Google Forms. Yeah. I mean, again, there are tools, but definitely you can leverage your technology to work for you. Mm -hmm. um, what else can you use? Let me think. <laughs> That's just too much going to all of it. Yeah. How, how do you keep in touch with all these things? I mean, uh, there's so much of you know. It's very true. Um, I'm still reading. A, and I'm still reading some of the updates from last year. I'm still watching some of the videos from last year, but I might just skip ahead and watch this year's now. Um, that's a technologist, I guess. That's heaps of conferences. Dub Dub DC from Apple, Google I/O. They have great free videos online you can watch. Um, Stanford has great an uh, iTunes use videos you can watch. So it's it's just to keep up date. You have to look at what's coming. You can't look at what's here today. Right. You just gotta look, think about what's coming so next. So we always be, be, be proactive. So be, yeah. So, so if someone wants to get involved with robotics and, and you know things that you have been involved in, what if, what advice would you give them? Uh, you know, if I'm a, I'm someone who's in school and say I, I really want to dabble in robotics, uh, right? What should I do? Oh, first, b break out your Lego Mindstorm and start playing with it. <laughs> That's no better way. I mean, I remember years ago. I don't know if they should have it, but in the first year robotics lab, they had a giant box of Lego pieces. So, so you gotta learn the building so robotics, blocks. Robotics starts with Lego, huh? That's right. You gotta learn the building blocks before you can go further. Okay. But um, if you're a natural person that likes to dabble in things, take things apart from it to get together, you'll be a natural. You pretty much the, because technology changes so much. It's not about learning what the technology is, but the core problem solving skills. So I say engineering is more about learning how to solve problems. In you know, if I'm a college student, I just graduated, I want to be successful in life. Uh, what advice would you give me? Uh, never to stop trying. Okay. So I guess first point, first point of failure is not to try at all. Okay. So I mean, if you fall down, pick yourself pick up, yourself out and try again. All right. But um, I mean, that's that's just motivation. Yeah. And a lot of people think that it's 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 working smart, not hard. Okay. I would have to say yes, but I think it's ten percent. Um, Inspiration, but ninety percent perspiration. Mm -hmm. it, right? Yeah, <laughs> so you can work as much as you want, but if you're not picking yourself up to do the hard work, yeah. so it's, it's just work. really hard work and keep 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 yourself driving and going. Right. I mean, you have nine to five to do what you need to do, then you have seven to two in the morning to do everything else. <laughs> so, so pretty much, if you want to do a new start or whatever, um, which I'm trying now, it's, it's a lot of no sleep. <laughs> A um, few weekends, and you need to know what your passion is. Okay. Without passion, you can't drive yourself to do it. Okay. So you gotta pick something that you're really interested in, yep. whatever it may be. Now, if I'm if I'm CEO of a startup, um, you know what what advice would you give me to make my you know so that I can become successful and ultimately either IPO or grow in big? In terms with technology? Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Um, I'll have to say, know your audience. Okay. Um, I see a lot of mistakes with, from my point of view, especially with the um, engineers and a lot of projects that where maybe the director or CEO that give the orders now to the people actually doing the work is that there's some miscommunication. Um, so and everything they try it works fine in their test environment, right? right? But when you bring it out, why doesn't it work? People panic because they just don't know the market, right? You don't know the market. You got to know your audience first in before you start doing anything. Okay. So once you know your market, you can properly plan what you need to do. So this this advice like Apple, like Steve Jobs, right? Know, right. Know what you're selling. Know, know your market. Know your market. market. Know your people. It, it's one. Of the, it's not the only thing, but I think it, it's, it's definitely one of the important. Yeah. Aaron, thank you so much for being no here problem. on the show. Uh, Aaron, thank you on the Leader on the Mix show.